Today, President Obama sent Congress a $3.9 trillion budget for next year. It includes tax increases on the wealthy and spending on things like roads and job training. Little of it will pass the Republican House. The budget would also shrink the armed forces. What might happen if tens of thousands of service members join the workforce? Here's Mark Strassman. Jim Reed retired from the U.S. Army as a lieutenant colonel in 2011. After 27 years and nine combat deployments, he went looking for a job as a civilian. Did you think at the time, when I become a civilian, I'm going to have a skill set that I can use? Oh, absolutely. And I'm a nurse anesthetist, so uh, easily transferable skill, something that uh, hospitals use every day throughout the country. And you still had a rough time. I did. I did. Reed has worked at three hospitals in three years and been laid off twice. It was very difficult to, to deal with and it kind of made me question, you know, myself a little bit. First time in a long time that I had to do that. The unemployment rate for post 9-11 veterans is 7.9 percent, higher than the national civilian average of 7 percent. The Pentagon's proposed budget cuts could force roughly 90,000 servicemen and women to seek civilian jobs. Similar resumes, similar skill sets. In a bad economy. In a bad economy. Yes, sir. What is going to be the rude awakening for them? The lack of opportunity. The lack of meaningful opportunity. My little brother is a full colonel in the Air Force right now, and he's one of the guys that you're talking about. So he and his family are waiting for what's coming. To you, it stings that the same men and women who went to war for this country came home and now this, their country could be laying them off. Yes, absolutely. Reed was uh, laid off for the second time last Christmas and will begin a new job in May. But Scott, he'll have to commute two and a half hours to Wilmington, North Carolina. Mark Strassman in our Atlanta newsroom. Mark, thank you.